Okay, round three. So, let's see who's up on the list next. Oh, yeah, I can go down the waterfall, I forgot. It's Ninja Bomberman, who seems pretty powerful. He's got Rosalina's double jump, and he also drops a bomb when he does it. Plus, he doesn't have quite her height restrictions. Although, I swear it seems just a little bit lower than it was in the demo. His jump height, so... Let's see what costumes he has. He's got uh, an evil version of himself. Well, Luigi! <laughs> well, uh, I'm not sure what I expected for Ninja Bomberman, but it wasn't that. And now we've got the regular one. I think I'll go with regular for now. Since he's new and everything. So, I guess I could test it all the power-ups over there, but... Let's just see what comes with what I come across in the level instead. So, I dumped a bunch of new stuff in there, but of course... We're still going to get like 90% Mega X2 levels because there's so many of them. What was up here again? Was it just a dragon coin or was it something important like a switch? Whoa! Well, I couldn't see that <laughs> from down there and because my jump height was so high with the double jump, it just kind of came across me. Plus, I should not be an idiot this time. Oh yeah, it's a key. I forgot. I didn't even look over there this time, so I just wasn't even thinking about it. So, is the combo thing still there? Let's check. Okay, yeah, so I can still combo stuff. Yeah, so as long as I only make one jump up there, I'm safe. Okay, so is this... Nope, it's a fire flower, but... So yeah, it's only one use in the demo level that he played before, so... Yay, that lets me get the keys here. This, the combo feature is really cool with him. Uh, what does this do? <laughs> he just kind of swings around and punches. Okay. His bombs are pretty powerful anyway, so... He almost seems like strictly better than Rosalina, almost. But then again, like 90% of the people are stri probably strictly better than Mario, almost. So, <laughs> Mario's a schmuck in his own game. So as long as I'm moving with the boot, he drops a bomb. That's cool. <laughs> I guess that's because he's in the air for a moment, and then... Uh, so when I jump, it registers him as in the air, so he drops the bomb, and then he, I can drop another one. Not that the first bomb's very useful, it's hard to drop it on anything. Well, that didn't work. Oh, that really didn't work. Oh wow, he dies in one hit? Okay. Except for the boot, of course, but... The fact that he dies in one hit is a pretty interesting limiting feature for him. Although, it means he'll dominate at the one-hit KO mode. Unless his spikes are just one-hit KO or something. Or if I was an idiot and left one-hit KO on mode on by mistake or something. Although, I never did it on the first place, so I think I'd have to mess up pretty bad for that. And he's also got... And these bombs are also super nice because they can kill just about anything. So, he's one of the few characters who's able to take out things like Thwomps. Also, it seems like unlike Toad's double jump, it, you keep this one when you run it off the ledge, which is nice. It's actually throwing me off a bit, even though it's more intuitive just because I'm used to Toad's uh, special jump being wonky. Well, that was close. It just hit the thing already. There we go. Well, this gives me an extra hit. Let's see if I can keep it this time and not be an idiot. Goodbye, shy guy. I thought I could make that before, but apparently I was wrong uh, getting under the thwomp, so... Let's just be extra careful this time. Ah, dang it. I went too far. Thankfully, I had enough speed that time, so I don't have to redo everything again. Wow, I kind of liked it for a moment when I got the midpoint there. Die. You know, since he's already got gliding abilities, the cape is actually kind of weak on him compared to, say, Mario or something, where it's pretty amazing most of the time. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> Down to three lives. 
And thankfully I've gotten at least one from this level, I guess. Thankfully I've also got a means of attack. So wait, shouldn't that... Maybe the spikes really are just one hit KO, because... That, otherwise that mushroom does like nothing. Whoa, that was close. I have to be careful going through here with this guy because if I try to hold the button when I normally would... Whoops. I just ran, ran, j do a double jump into the spikes on the ceiling. Probably could have killed him, but whatever. Gotta be careful. Goodbye. Die Thwomp. Also, gotta be careful not to destroy the blocks under me when I'm getting power-ups up here. Not that it really matters, because his mobility is really high. Let's see how he does in the water. Ah, dang it. Okay, so yeah, he does die in one hit when he, he's got fireballs. I wonder if he dies in one hit when he's got the mushroom too, because... In that case, the only thing the mushroom actually does is... Uh, Make it so that you can get an extra power up. <laughs> okay, so yeah, gotta be a little bit more careful than last time going through this water zone. I've. For some reason, I was expecting to be able to drop bombs on these guys or do something to kill them, but. That doesn't work out that way. And I've got to be super careful because I died in one hit. So... Which I hope was intended and isn't some sort of issue with what I'm doing. Eh, get over there. Alright. Because the, the fireballs themselves don't really help much here. It's, it's normally just the fact that they're an extra hit that's useful in a level like this one. Just hold down while I'm swimming to make sure that I don't go too high. Yeah, let's keep the fire... Well, it's kind of hard because neither of them are particularly useful in a level that's banking off of uh, lots of unkillable enemies that of course aren't really that unkillable. Yeah, look at that combo go. Works really well for situations like that. There we go. Had to concentrate a bit to get through there because that could have been nasty. Oh, it's a... Uh, this guy, I... He shows up so often that he must be a reference to something, but I don't know what. <laughs> I assumed originally that people were just referencing the Megalax 1 level, but... That originally, that had a bunch of him in it, but there's too many references to him for it to be that. For some reason I did that uh, double checking, even though I know this guy's friendly, because he's basically the entire plot of the level here. I like the Final Fantasy V music here, it's pretty nice. And we've got a mushroom, which does nothing of course. So water does not seem to be a good thing for Ninja Bomberman here. Especially since his uh, shots can hit the ceiling like that, because I go so high. Gotta be careful. Alright, made it through. And now... I'm not sure why I'm carrying this thing with me, but... I don't think it's really much use for me right now. Yeah, I'm not going to risk my life for that uh, flower down there. Yeah, I suppose it would make sense that he dies in one hit, considering he's got no HP at the top. I just realized the lack of HUD up there. It's kind of weird, actually. So, is there any way through here? Or, even with Ninja Bomberman's great jump height? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything up there regardless, anyway. Oh wow, gotta be careful not to destroy all my ground with this guy. Whoa! Also gotta be careful not to just fall like an idiot. But that's not anything new. Lots of moons. Hey, I can actually kill some of these eerie guys. 
thanks to well-placed bomb. Oh yeah, you come out here for some reason. Goodbye! And there's the midpoint. And we have more Final Fantasy music, because hooray! Hello, Big Blue. I'm not going to bother talking to you, because text isn't really the focus of playing the Mario challenge, is it? Even when I'm playing a Megalax 2 level, which obviously is going to involve a lot of text, a lot more than usual, I totally don't remember all the details of this level. I remember I had to do something really funky to get up because I trapped myself somewhere, but the and that shouldn't be a problem with Ninja Bomberman because he has no issues with jump height. He's basically your classic glass cannon, almost, if this were an RPG. Which, of course, I'm only thinking about because of this music. <laughs> Hit the switch, that's switch number one. Oh, so when you fall out of the water too, you also get your second jump back. That's good to know. Whoa. Alright, so that's where I've got to go eventually. Of course these weren't the real ones. Nothing wrong with wasting a couple mushrooms, because I got nothing out of those. Whoa, crud. <laughs> the thwomps are a real menace to this guy, aren't they? Because they just fall straight down, and it's so easy to accidentally jump into them, and then you die in one hit. <laughs> Looks more nasty than it is. Well, that just takes care of everything now, does it? Oh, crud. I forgot about the cannon. Alright. So that's the that's a different switch hit first. Whoa, spawn and Koopa, gotta be careful. Float down here slowly. I didn't really want my second jump there, but let's at least go this way so that if nothing else I'm exploring the the rest of the level. This guy also really doesn't like bullets because the bombs aren't so useful against those. Yeah, now that I think about it, I guess part of the reason why I never noticed his one-hit KO nature before was because the demo level he was in was a stealth mission and didn't involve actually getting hurt by things. So, I never actually died. Not a real death, anyway. Grab that almost worthless cape power-up. Whoa, I'm glad I had that shell. Well, at least I can grab the shell with the almost worthless cape power-up. I feel like there's a way to kill that guy, but I'm not sure the best way of actually doing that. Whoa, almost jumped too high there. Don't want to be too cautious and have it end up biting me in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> the odds of that happening were very slim, but... Okay, so now I know two of these things are pretty easy. The last is... The last two are... can be painful a little bit. I also get the feeling that Ninja Bomberman guy isn't gonna like long levels very much. Exactly like this one. Because his high mobility will allow him to destroy short levels, but... When you try that in the long levels, I, this one hit KO nature is going to cause problems. Well, I killed him with the bomb before bouncing, which is probably a good thing. So this, uh, I, I guess this lava lotus here is going to bombard me all the way down. Here we go. It's weird because when I'm one hit... When I'm prepared to be one-hit KO'd by stuff... Oh, I could really use that, actually. I should really go after this one first all the time. <laughs> Too bad I didn't remember that was there from, like, a year ago when I played this game. <laughs> Almost got hit there by the fireball like an idiot. Yeah, I think I collected this coin here, and there was basically almost no way out. I had to do some really weird Goomba hopping with the 
Goombas down there or something like that. I don't really remember. But I also can't get out this way right now because I I have I haven't hit the right switches yet. Which is basically any switch other than the one that I have hit. So gotta be careful with the log. Wow, I thought he was a little bit over to the left for some reason, so I didn't do that right, but no big deal. Here useless for me. But whatever puzzle I had to solve to get that, which is probably just throwing a Koopa shell at it. Uh oh. I don't have to solve anymore. <laughs> Getting lives seems to be regular in the Mario Challenge as opposed to in the, uh, in the clock. I'm not sure what good that does me, but it doesn't seem to have done any good at all. Is it just a P switch or something? It's whatever. Wait, I haven't hit the switch this way yet. Oh, that works too, I guess. Oh, I missed the piranha plant. I was hoping for a second, uh, for another jump there, but, and that's a trick, of course. What do you have to say, Toad? Hi. Well, I'm glad I talked to you. That was very earth-shattering information. I'm not sure what I would have done without knowing that. So, so let's get out of there. Doing, getting the shells out is pretty easy with this guy. And I'll keep the shell with me. To hopefully bombard some stuff in this water section. Not that I couldn't just use that shell, but whatever. You can die. Now, it's gonna be hard to take this guy out. There we go. Without losing the shell at least, which is my main goal. Alright, do not forget about the bullet cannon, but also don't forget to throw that down because that helps a bit. And get down because that fish. There we go. Wait for that guy to fire and no danger. Alright, let's just take this slow and steady, because I don't want to lose this at this point. Uh-oh, that was close. Anyone can get under that guy. Get out of the way of the pollen. Yeah, his bums really don't help much in this underwater scenario. I'm not sure if Ninja Bomberman is actually a thing in the Bomberman games, because I never... I haven't played much of those, so... I don't really know. Alright, so now this should be the background with house, so I don't die to this Koopa. Let's just be really careful about this. Just out of pure paranoia. Sometimes that can hurt, but I didn't think it would make a difference there. Huggy time! Yay! I'm here too! Let's not kill myself with the shell in here, thanks. I'm just gonna grab the thing. Oh, that went poorly. <laughs> but I have four of my lives again. I don't remember exactly where I got all of those, but. Oh wow, this is. Okay. How does this work again? I gotta hit the switch on the left when, uh, whenever th I start hearing evil noises and I've gotta throw turnips at the boss. And this is gonna suck because I've only got one hit. Where are the turnips again? There they are. Eh. Dang it, I was too slow. I'm not sure, uh, what the speed was of the character that I originally... Uh, brought into this level. I'm not sure which character this level is made for. So I'll just get over here while the dying animation is going because... Okay, yeah. Now I've got to be careful because I have Rinka's and this thing. Oh, you can hit it from the top. That's nice. I can get this, but it doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Uh, that was dumb. I probably should have just gone for the thing. Yeah, that... Thankfully, there's not too much to keep track of right now. That will probably get worse, though, as time goes on. Alright. Hit the Rinka with that, because I can grab another one on the way over. Easy peasy. Got a two... Okay, hide over here. Thankfully, I get to hide straight next to that thing. Also, I don't think uh, Ninja Bomberman would even get hit by that in any scenario. Because I can just probably out-hover that thing. Alright, let's get back over here. Whoa, that switch almost did a number on me. Whatever. Yeah, I spent too long ducking there. At least I got three hits because I placed that shot well. There we go. Got it. Yeah, this fight's pretty intense. No, you don't take that away. Oh yeah, there's another face. Of course, there's always another face. And now we have uh, fake mushrooms, which suck because I can't get anything out of the real mushrooms. Dang it. Alright, so I'm going to hit the switch here. And then I'm just going to go full tilt. I can kill this thing before I get finished off by the turnips disappearing, so I don't really need to worry about that. 
See, it only takes out two at a time, and it's pretty slow. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it. So, too many things. Oh, I only have one life left. I'm probably not going to make it through this. There's someone who said this abomination would be great at, but I haven't been pulling them today. There we go. I think that's the last phase. I thought the third phase was the last phase before. I don't even care about that. Holy cow! <laughs> that was evil! Let's see, let's hope I can get a reasonably simple level. Capital Scoop of Revolution. Oh man. Browser, yeah. Internet Explorer is evil! Actually, it is pretty evil. Especially when you have to develop for it. Oh yay, more power-ups that don't help much. Two of them come to keep the sails, but now they... But they... What? Whatever. I don't care. Okay. I'm probably gonna die somewhere in this level. I don't remember this level being humorously easy. Whoa, I almost died to that guy to begin with. And... Yeah, evil flames. Uh, this level was pretty long too, wasn't it? This is gonna <laughs> be the end of me, I'm pretty sure. Especially since I think there's a speed section or something in there. At least I can kill that guy. Okay, so what happens when I hit this? I think something happens that lets me get to the key, but I can break that, so let's do that. I think you have to fight like a boom boom or something. It's been a while, so I can't remember for sure. I should have two more games worth of stuff in here, and it's still just giving me Megalex 2. <laughs> Shows just how many Megalex 2 levels there are in this game. Whoa! Ah! Okay, be careful of that when you're playing this guy. Are those actual things, or...? Okay, that is ground. I was being paranoid. I thought that was background for a second, for some reason. But better safe than sorry. Also, I gotta be really careful here because I don't want the thing that happened before with Thwomps a couple times to happen again. Where the Thwomp just comes down on my head right as I'm doing my second jump. Okay, that bottom part of the fence is safe. And... Yay, okay, I made it. Almost. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> Those guys are really random, so I didn't like that. Okay, so I know... Okay, so once I hit this thing, the lava wall comes. So let's hope I can outrun it properly. Or Oh yeah, you can just duck under this thing. I forgot. It's kind of dumb that way. I wonder... I don't feel like that was intentional, but that's what happens. I originally thought Ninja Bomberman would be one of the easiest ones to play, and then it's like... Oh, he has one HP. But that's... That's good, because otherwise he'd be pretty crazy good. Midpoint, not that it does me in... Oh yeah, I have one life. I should really be collecting more of the coins, because... Oh, yes! Okay, so no matter how many times I die here, I'm just gonna keep regaining that life over and over again. What's that? It's going to stop me going to the browser's airship. Okay, so I need the ice flower. Thankfully, that still works as intended. Uh, 
and I got tons of ice flowers, not that I can use that. Crud, I was worried of the thing smushing me, so I panicked and ran back. I'm not even 100% sure if it can crush me, but thankfully I know about that free one-up mushroom, so... Oh, well, that's interesting. When I got the mushroom, I was able to drop a bomb, yeah. For some reason. Oh yeah, I don't have my ice flower yet. Durr. Wow, that didn't work. Okay, this isn't that hard. Don't be an idiot. Compared to that other boss fight against Mother Brain, this should be a piece of cake. Not much to say here, it's throw, throw the ice cubes against the glass thing. And there's respawning power-ups in case you somehow get hurt by those uh, dry bones that are falling so, so quickly. They, they just fill up the screen almost with how many there are. And then the other glass thing is even... Okay, now that's... that's weird. Yeah, this, this boss fight really didn't need to be there. <laughs> Oops. If I could take a hit with someone else, I could probably just run into that door. But I can't take a hit with this guy, so that's not gonna work. Uh, honestly, this would be boring enough even if it was just this mother brain here. Dang it. Hooray, beat the boss, guys. See ya. Oh, great. Lack it too. I don't know if I can kill you. Nope. Yikes, that was close. Okay, I do need this spring. Wow. I wasn't expecting to double jump there. And now I have to go through eight hours of killing Mother Brain again. Oh boy. You know, I'm an idiot. I completely forgot about just sorting this thing. Should've done that to begin with. See if I can get in just the right place. Well, not if I destroy that glass container instead. There we go. Much faster that time. Alright, so this time I know that I can just skip this whole thing. Because I'm Ninja Bomberman. He, he's cool like that. And that statue's probably not in the right place. So let's just uh, kill that guy with that. Since I can't hurt him with the ice balls. Yeah. He drops booze as the flames, which isn't very dangerous. Oh man, more boss fights, sheesh. Good news is I can just kind of hover over it. <laughs> See, that level played to his strengths a bit more. I was able to skip a couple gaps with his mobility and whatnot, so... Oh, another Megalex 2 level. Well, I could be getting... I mean, they're, they're certainly good levels, so... Oh, my... Pet the Ganon. <laughs> I forgot about this, these spelling mistakes sometimes. And... Now... Ninja Bomberman's turn to have terrible dreams. Oh, yeah, I, I remember the part where Ninja Bomberman found the rupees. This Part of the challenges in this level were to... Uh, deal with the platforming with Link, so I think this might be in my favor here. And I also have ice cubes, which doesn't hurt either. So she can see this fight against geometry here. So the rupee arrow tells me to go this way, and then I have to go back, I think. Yeah. And there's this guy. I don't remember what he does. Does he just does he really just hover there? Well that's not the intended way to do that, but it works perfectly oofs. And now we get music that suddenly goes from completely ambient creepy noise to uh how did he Oh no. I'm supposed to destroy this with Link. This is actually going to be harder. To energetic, uh... Mario... Gah! Music. Oh, gosh. I can't jump without hitting the flames there, I think. Yeah, this isn't going to be possible. Because I have to jump to drop a bomb. So I... I don't think I can actually accomplish this level with Ninja Bomberman. I need somebody who can hit those things. So let's re-roll and see what happens. 
yacht of opinions. Yes, I shoved Megalex 1 in there too. But I also shoved in uh, ASMBXT and Super Mario World Central X Production. So, uh, so yeah, this is just a pipe maze. Should be no problem here. With that weirdly hidden secret star. That's just kind of in the middle of the place. Yeah, <laughs> I can break this level pretty easily with this guy. He doesn't even have to try. Thank goodness for bouncy fireballs. Thank goodness for not remembering the way to go at all. That's not right. Dang it. <laughs> Can't go back the way you came, right? Ah, back here. This pipe cases aren't really all that fun. And we made it. Yay. So that's five out of five levels. Had to reroll once, but I, I'm pretty sure there was no way through there because there was nothing I could grab in that level to cheese through my way through that thing with by sorting it. So, and that's Ninja Bomberman, who had far more deaths than he had lives. But that's okay because I got just enough one-ups to save my butt there. So yeah, really powerful, quote-unquote, but frail. Just like you'd expect from a ninja, I guess.